Indian candidates. Ms. Kelly, unemployment in New Hampshire is low right now, 2.3%. The state's median income is one of the highest in the country. Why should Granite Staters want to fire Governor Sununu when things appear to be going quite well? Thank you for the question. Um, well, the economy is not working for everyone. Uh, unemployment uh, numbers may be going down, but wages are not going up to keep up with the cost of living. Our colleges, think about our colleges. We are number one in the nation for um, how much it costs for a student for their tuition to go to college, number one. We are also number one for students in debt uh, for our colleges. The economy is not working for them. We have people who are working two or three jobs just to put food on the table and pay the bills. Um, we also uh, have uh, our families looking for affordable, co affordable housing and property taxes keep going up. So the economy is not working for everyone. There are 44,000 children in our state who are food insecure, which means that they worry about where their next meal is coming from. As governor, I want to make sure that every child uh, has a, a breakfast in the morning when they start school, and I want to build a New Hampshire that works for everyone and not just a few. And governor, uh, while the economy does appear to be strong, uh, it's not perfect. According to some recent numbers, one in four students in New Hampshire qualifies to get free or reduced lunch at school. How is it that there's this much economic disparity in the state? Well, again, we, we are in one of the most robust economic times uh, that we've ever seen. Consumer confidence is a, a, at an all-time high, and you note it, wages uh, are higher than they've ever been. Wage growth in New Hampshire is higher than almost anywhere else uh, on the East Coast. That's something to be very proud of. We have the lowest poverty rate in the country the lowest poverty rate in the country. Um, you know, we've created economic prosperity, not just for businesses, but that trickles down to individuals. It trickles down to more money in their pocket, a better quality of life for them. We've seen more money invested into everything from nonprofits to charitable organizations. Um, the economy is really cooking. More than 15,000 people today, more, are working than just last year, more than any other time in our state's history. We have 20,000 available jobs, so there's lots of opportunity out there, high paying jobs. Um, so again, uh, you don't just take that for granted. We've really created a system and a dynamic that is more customer service friendly, that puts individuals and businesses first, and allows them to thrive. And Governor, um, speaking of workers, last week we spoke with the owner of a restaurant called 900 Degrees Pizza, which has locations in Manchester and Epping. Uh, the owner says she closed their Portsmouth restaurant after only six months, partly because they couldn't find people to work there. We've also heard from school districts that can't find bus drivers or substitutes and the pharmaceutical company Millipore Sigma in Cheshire County is still looking for engineers, technical operators, and logistics warehouse managers. What steps are you taking to address the worker shortage in the state? We've taken more significant, bigger significant and more significant steps than any uh, administration in history. So I'm gonna start backwards a little bit. Just last week, we announced a $24 million investment that we're proposing to the university system that'll double the number of healthcare workers. We're focusing on healthcare because that's where one of the biggest shortages are, not just today, but five and 10 years down the road. That will double the number of everything from nurses to clinicians all across the, the, the spectrum. And again, it's an investment, it's a one-time investment that pays off for tomorrow. We've invested in student loan repayment programs like never before. Again, provide, uh, allowing students to enter the workforce and giving them that incentive to stay and work here, whether it be in, in high tech or in nursing. Um, we, I created the Governor Scholarship. I'm a big believer that at the age of 18, a diploma is, is wonderful, but we need to make sure that our students have workforce ready skills on day one so they can enter the workforce ready to go or they can go to community college or the four-year college. But the point is that we have to let students design their path forward. We're investing in our career schools, our career and technical schools, $30 million of investment there, again, to really make sure that the students have opportunity while they're still in school so when they hit the ground running at the age of 18, Again, the, the choices are there for them to Governor. Uh, remain in New Hampshire. And Ms. Kelly, what additional steps would you take uh, that you feel are not being addressed at this time? Well, the workforce uh, issue is, is a problem for New Hampshire. Uh, we have uh, our young people who are leaving our state because they don't see opportunities, and we have businesses and uh, industries who are crying out for a workforce. So education is what we need to focus on. Uh, education has always been my priority as a senator, and it will be as governor. You know, uh, education's personal to me as well. Uh, at one time in my life, I was a, a young single mom with three small children, um, working my way through 
through college so that I would have opportunities and to open up doors of possibilities for uh, my children as well. I know the challenges that working families face and I know how important it is that we invest not in giving tax breaks to the 3% of the wealthiest corporations, but that we invest in education, job training, and making college affordable.